Now, no collusion with Russia, no obstruction, but they aren't looking at the corruption. And it continues. He continues on saying in the Hillary Clinton campaign where she deleted 33,000 emails, got $145 million while Secretary of State paid McCabe's wife $700,000 and get off the, off the FBI hook along with Ter uh, Terry M. and so much more Republicans and real Americans should start getting tough on this scam. Well, here to react is a Fox News contributor and investigative reporter, Sarah Carter. You saw these two tweets. It's probably the first time you saw them as well because they just came out moments ago. Is the president justified in calling out the double standard that's happening inside our, of the previous administration? Absolutely justified. All you have to do is look at the facts. Let's just talk about this informant or this spy. I'd like to say he mm -hmm. was a spy, an informant spy, uh, that's been trickling out there in the media. Now, on open sourcing, I mean, everyone's kind of put this together. They say it's Stephen Halper, uh, Stephen Halper, out of Cambridge. Let's look at the facts here. The Nunez and the House Intelligence Committee never once leaked that information that they were looking for. They said they're looking for sensitive classified information. That's all they ever said. It was the DOJ that actually leaked and released their letter that said they were looking for an individual, that that's what Nunez was looking for. After that came out, then we see multiple stories in The Washington Post, in The New York Times, where mm -hmm. they give away Crossfire Hurricane, which was the name of the operation, mm -hmm. the name of the operation which used apparently and allegedly right now Stephen Halper and if he was such a confidential source why would the DOJ and the FBI then release his name you have to ask or release information about him enough so right. that reporters were able to get his name yeah. and you have to ask yourself they were were they trying to jump ahead of the story were they trying to cover up were they trying to shift the momentum put out different information and I think that's really important because the people that leaked the information around Crossfire Hurricane those yeah. people could possibly be in a lot of trouble. No, it's a great point. Or are they trying to just soften the blow before this big IG report comes out? Are they trying to help the narrative get out there? The New York Times is saying it's not a spy, though, Sarah. They say that it is an informant. It had nothing to do with then-candidate Trump. This had everything to do with Russia and collusion they might have had, just the Russians, with our election. What do you, how do you respond to that? Abby, how do they know that? How are they so sure of that? They haven't even investigated mm. this. They went and they talked to people at the DOJ and the FBI and they got their side of the story. That's all they have. What we don't have is the documents. And that is very important. So the documents that were requested by the House Intelligence Committee, I don't know exactly what those documents mm -hmm. are because they are extremely classified. They have to do with the FISAs. They have to do with the information that they had gathered. Um, that, that is the DOJ and FBI on this investigation into President Trump. Trump, this alleged collusion. Let's let's just take a step back. The CIA and the FBI has sources. They have sources overseas. If they would have had information or if they would have had evidence, that would have been out by now. Of this course. appears to be an investigation into a mm -hmm. campaign, and this is something that needs to be looked at. So the only way we're going to get answers is to get those documents, well, get the documents and allow them to review them. We asked DO DOJ for a statement. This is what they said. They said, we treat disclosures of classified information seriously, and we prosecute those responsible, regardless of whether the person is within the intelligence community or staff on the Hill. Do you take them at face value or do you feel like they're withholding certain things for nefarious reasons? Well, they're certainly withholding information, and I believe that information will answer all of our questions. And I just want to go back to that threat. That threat was made over and over again in Washington, D.C. Anybody who releases his name and emphatically says that this is the person that was the mole or the informant or the spy, it's all semantics. Whatever you want to say yep. uh, mm -hmm. could, could face the wrath of the DOJ. But it was the DOJ themselves that released the information that pointed directly to this Cambridge professor. Yeah. So maybe they are going to face their own wrath. Well, a lot of uh, questions still to be asked and answered. Uh, David Bossi on the show earlier said the president yeah. has the power to declassify all of this information. Time will tell how this all plays out and how we ultimately get that in. It info. feels like just a deep And he absolutely state should loop. declassify it. You think it. he should too? Yeah. All right, all we'll right. leave it right there, Sarah. Always good to have you on. Great Thank perspective. You very much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Well, moving on, terrorists organized violent and deadly riots along the Israeli border the same day the U.S. opened its embassy in Jerusalem. So why did one high school here in Manhattan hold a moment of silence for the terrorist organization Hamas? Plus, where was the Obama administration while the FBI informant was in the Trump campaign? Maria Bartiromo, she's got some thoughts on that that is coming up. And it is the rematch.